All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Due to our Renar seed shortage and um, the upcoming fight caves and the need for prayer pots, I have been reduced to farming people for Renar. I've killed hundreds of men. Welcome back, everyone. All right, we're going to snag a little quest from this uh, wizard here. He wants me to catch some scorpions. I thought I was an adventurer. Apparently, I'm pest control. Uno, dos, tres. I'm a goddamn scorpion master. All right, old man, I have returned all of your scorpions. Yes, yes, give me that small amount of strength XP. Yes, quite. Man, I was just coming over here to do the making history quest. This guy's got a hobgoblin trapped in his house. There's making history. Done. Wow, 750 coins. I'm rich. Oh my god, guys, absolutely everything I've been doing on this account has led up to this exact moment where I can scoot around on a sled. My god, this is the best content in the entire game. Look at my character go. So happy. Absolute joy. Look at that. And of course, I mean, you can't forget about the jump. Look at this sick jump. We also killed this guy, so like two people who are destined to be lovers could finally be together and spend their lives in happiness or whatever. But I mean, who cares about that part? The main part of the quest is definitely the sled. Anyway, playing Cupid aside, troll romance has been completed. I get seven uncut gems for that. <laughs> and a little bit of uh, agility XP. You know, I really don't want to do this quest, uh, Darkness of Hollow Vale, because it requires you to run around that god-awful area over there by Theater of Blood. But here we go. Oh no, I've been caught. Anyway, we're just going to um, tell this fella to look over there. He's going to go, whoa, oh, yeah, whoa, 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 where? And then I'm going to do one of these little gamer moves and um, I'm out of here. Dumbass. All right. There we go. Darkness of Hollow Vale completed. 7,000 agility, 6,000 thieving. And I think I saw a little bit of construction XP and got us a thieving level. We can now use the Taverly Dungeon Lesser Demon Fence. That'll cut that run off when I need to run to Blue Dragons. It'll cut a little bit of time there and a construction level. And we have this cool little book that we can throw on, uh, well, it looks like any of our stats, but I mean, come on now, you know we're gonna throw it on Herblore, of course, because uh, this stat absolutely sucks on an Iron Man. All right, guys, I have a goal for a fire cape by the end of the week. That requires a higher range level than 57. So there's our first of the grind, 58. I should probably add on that doing the fight caves doesn't require a higher level than 57 range. There's 59, by the way. I just want a rune crossbow, so I need a minimum of 61 ranged. You also may be wondering why I'm doing Nightmare Zone. There's 60 ranged, by the way. I'm doing Nightmare Zone because I have a stack of approximately 18,000 iron darts from a um, smithing grind I did earlier in the account. And they're not too much use many places because of their low ass accuracy. But they're fairly decent to throw in Nightmare Zone for just hours on end and slowly get rid of them while also gaining some range levels. As you can see, I've got about 17,000 left. So um, quite a bit of ranged XP there. Um, and I just honestly, I don't see myself using them anywhere else. It's been 36 hours since I first started. <laughs> nah, I'm lying. It ain't been 36 hours. It has been a couple, though. Um, there we go. 61 ranged. That's rune crossbow level. So, here's the thing. I don't know if I'm going to stop right at 61. Or maybe it's worth getting a few more levels. I'm going to do a few DPS counts against Jad and see if it's worth it. All right, here we go, guys. If you look here, I have plugged in the gear I'll be doing Jad in on the left, and I've given myself 61 ranged on one of the calcs and 65 ranged on the other calc. Also, just a quick shout out to this website. It's called Gearscape.net, one of the best websites for DPS calcing and comparing setups, but uh, we're going to just focus on this part for now. Here's the gear I'll be doing Jad in. 
and the comparisons between 61 ranged and 65 ranged. If you look over here to the right, it's approximately a 40 second difference if I get an extra few range levels. So you can almost just kind of chalk it up as like an extra range level is 10 seconds off of the kill. We can also come over here and plug in a ranging potion. Oh, that is a huge difference. All right, so 65 ranged with a range pot versus 61 with no range pot is approximately a hundred second difference in the kill. So I'd say it's worth it indeed. Coming up on another range level, 62 range. You can go ahead and take another 10 seconds off my Jad kill. And there's 63 ranged. Uh, please, Jackets, let my level up boxes pop up in combat. Or at least let me toggle it. I have to be in combat to level up. Come on. All right, boys. First goal for the um, fire cape is some red dehyde chaps. And red dehyde chaps drop from uh, these uh, big creepy spiders. I don't know what they're doing with red dehyde chaps, but um, they have them and I want them. Yeah, buddy. There's our red dehyde chaps. We lit. Boink. Oh, yeah. There we go. Next up is the Red Dehyde Body and the Rune Crossbow, which both come from the Crazy Archaeologist. Man, did you guys know there was a dang wilderness shortcut from Trollheim? Right to where the Crazy Archaeology is. Archaeology is? The Crazy Archaeologist is. He's just down there somewhere, and I teleported in just up there. I do need an agility potion to get through here, because it's 64 agility. Naturally, I have 63 seems like whenever I find an agility shortcut that I want to use, I'm one level short of it, but that's fine. We can agility pot up. Here's the um, setup. We are um, not risking absolutely anything except prayer potions, I suppose. So that's cool. I have a teleport to Varrock for when, um, you know, I get something I want to keep. I have to run south a little bit, probably about to like there-ish, and I should be able to teleport. And uh, yeah, we're going to hang out here until we get our rune crossbow and our red dehyde body. And there they are. Oh my god, sometimes it's just too fucking easy, man. Sometimes it's just too fucking easy. 9kc, get wrecked, settled. Uh, easy game. Okay, I wanted to try out my Ibn staff on Crazy Archaeologist, but uh, it was low on charges. So here we are, recharging it. Good God. I thought it was a little bit easier than this, but um, no, you still got to traverse a decent amount of the underground pass to get here. Dude, how, how rare is that? How rare is this drop? Now I got to leave because I'm not giving no PK or 100K. It's, fuck you. Leave me alone. Actually, it's only a one in 32. Wow. Onyx bolt tips for 100k, the 1 in 32. The damn red dehyde body I need is a 1 in 32 as well. Hmm. So I got a long bone. Um. It's kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. I just, I just want my red dehyde body. I don't want the long bone. I don't actually know. Is the long bone still 1 in 400 from this guy? Oh no, it's not. It's only 1 in 64. Okay. It's not, it's not as bad. It's not as bad. It's still twice the drop rate of the red dehyde, but you know, that's fine. There it is! There it is! Oh, please, nobody show up and PK me, please. Or actually, I guess I could item protect. It should protect the red dehyde body. Yeah, so we're chilling. We're chilling. There it is. Red dehyde body obtained. Get the hell out of the wilderness. Fight caves. He fight, fight caves? Yeah, fight caves. Here I come. I have, or wait, no, fight caves, no, I have to go finish my slayer task, actually, so I can buy the broad bolt, uh, fletching ability. Okay, so slayer task, broad bolts, fletch some broad bolts, because I'm probably going to need quite a few due to the range level being 63, and me being in red dehyde with, like, no damage, um, jewelry at all. Oh, hey, look at that, 59 slayer. I don't actually know if that unlocks anything. I'll check in here because I got my prayer running. Uh, no, it does not. Wow, that's the first level I've gotten since Cave Wars. 
Man, Slayer is so slow, dude. It's so slow. Hey, look at that! A Slayer collection log. Some mithril boots. Are these like my new best in slot? Oh no, they don't have a melee bonus. Rip. Better defense bonus though, might hang on to them. Whoa, look at that! Combat level 90! And I managed to somehow trap the jelly under me. And he's not hitting me, so I can actually look at it. There he goes. Level 78 strength. 90 combat! And there we are. The jellies are done. I shit you not, I had to leave at two kills left because I was on four HP and out of food. I had to come back here with five food for two more kills. Slightly frustrating, but that's fine. That's fine. We're going to head over to a Slayer Master and purchase the ability to craft broad bolts now. Turiel, my man. My man. I seek the ability to craft broad bolts. Oh, there it is. Jeez, I'm blind as hell. Ooh, amethyst broad bolts. Dude, that's going to be pretty sick too once I uh, get the mining level and shit. Nice little upgrade there once I get 76 fletching and the mining level. But here we go. Let's uh, buy some now. Hey, look at that. We got an herbal level while crafting up our prayer potions for the fight cave. I can now use an herb sack. I haven't done any tithe farm. I need to do some tithe farm and get myself an herb sack and that uh, auto weed perk. That would be pretty nice. Anyway, uh, uh, crafting up our pair of potions and then we have two more items. That is a Shazian Helm 5 and Shazian Boots 5 that both give um, a decent range bonus over the coif and the um, climbing boots. Okay, I lied. One more item, that being the Crystal Shield. Crystal Shield, if you don't know, is one of the tankiest shields in the game as far as range defense goes. So we're going to go ahead and complete Roving Elves, which involves us killing this year Moss Guardian, and then heading over to Galerial's Tomb, where we finished up the Waterfall quest ages ago, and planting said seed, and it doing something. Not entirely sure what that was, but it's done now. So anyway, this guy is now going to give me the option at either a shield or a bow. Both could be useful for the fight cave. However, I don't have 70 range. So I'm going to go ahead and send it with the rune crossbow because I ain't no bitch. But I do want this crystal shield. So I can tank some, some ranger hits if I ever need to while fighting one of the majors. Alright. If you were wondering how I'm going to get ranged pots without 72 herb lore, I think it is. These fellas are right here. That's right. These zombies drop three dose range pots at a 1 in 25, so not terrible. And here is our last piece of Shazian 5 equipment. I only needed the boots and helmet, but I mean, come on, I gotta go ahead and green log it. Can't just get the boots and helmets and leave. So, we are now finally ready to do the fight cave. I got a hard glue casket. It could give me a magic short bow, which could make it fight cave slightly quicker. Fingers crossed. This is just a, a real hope. Fingers crossed. God damn it. All right, rune crossbow it is. All right, guys, here's the first bat. And it's going to take two hits to kill. Oh, God. Oh, my God, it's going to take three hits to kill. See, this is this is why I wanted the short bow. Th this right here. This is this is why I wanted the short bow. Yeah. Killing these with the crossbow could be slightly annoying when I don't one shot them. If not extremely annoying. There we go. Uh, we ended up switching out the Shazian Helm for a um, miter. We had a miter from a previous medium or hard casket that we did, or hard glue that we did. So we ended up throwing that on instead of the Shazian Helm, because the extra prayer bonus is going to be useful in the fight cave. And I realized right before I was going to walk in, I had two prayer bonus, which is not great for the fight cave. Also, we brought blood spells. I brought the runes for um, blood burst and no. Yeah, yeah, blood burst and blood, the single target one. I can't remember what it's called right now. The single target blood spell and the multi target blood spell. We have access to those with our ancient scepter and a mystic top and our book over there. Now you may wonder, why do I have this book? 
Well, the Crystal Shield, as we saw earlier, does actually give me a minus 10 range bonus, which isn't great. So I figured, why not take in this book, because it'll give me five prayer bonus, and I can wear that whenever I don't really need to be tanking hits, and it'll allow me to use some extra prayer. I don't have it on right now, because I'm, I'm not really using any prayer yet. So, it was about at this point in the fight cave where I looked at my inventory and went, Hmm, something is missing. All of my range pots are missing. I completely forgot the range pots. I'm not quite sure how that- hey look, 64 range. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but somewhere between gearing up and actually going in, I forgot the range pot. Which really sucked when I was two hours in and figured out how fucking slowly these things were going to die. Like, my god, man. It's like a minute and a half every single one. And I can only prayer flick them when I, or not I can only. I only feel safe prayer flicking them when I'm above 54 HP, because 54 is their max and I suck at prayer flicking. So I'm not prayer flicking right now because he could one shot me. All right. We are closing in on that double major wave, which if you don't know, is the wave just before Jad. And as soon as this meleeer dies, we can start that round. All right, we're going to be speeding it up from here because uh, these next two waves took a long time. So enjoy. Look at this big orange frog. Big stupid orange frog. I'm gonna smoke him. And I'm gonna smoke his big brother. Here we go. Stop healing all that. It's too much healing. Stop! Stop! Why does he keep healing so much? Stop that. Stop that. Oh my god, he keeps healing. You're annoying. Die. Please die. Uh, die! Oh, thank you. Jeez.
Or give me some big hits. Come on, he's almost dead. Give me a big hit. Big hit here. Give me a big hit here. And there he goes. He's dead. Fight cave veteran. I think I was a little late on that last prayer switch. That was... That felt a little scary almost for a second there. I think I was like a tick late on that last hit. But I didn't get the combat achievement for tanking a hit. So maybe I wasn't late. Or maybe he has to actually do damage. Maybe I tanked a hit and hit a zero. Fucking pleb ass Jad. Who's scared of this fucking scrub? Look at that fire cape. You see that? See my cool cape? Yes. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, fire cape. Obtained at level 90. And we had supplies left over. It's actually insane. We're a beast. A beast! And there we are, ladies and gentlemen. Fire cape on the Iron Man. Damn, that feels good, dude. I feel like I had to put in so much more effort to, like, get here to this stage of the account as opposed to, like, a main account. Just makes it that much more rewarding. Hell yeah, man. Well, I am now a cheese caper. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed, leave a like and I will catch you next week. Peace out.